Hi, I'm Brian Albert. It's been a while. I bet you're wondering what I've been doing. Well... <laughs> Been a rough quarter. I just finished my second quarter of my second year here at the Savannah College of Art and Design for animation, and I had a pretty hefty course load. Plus, I was working on my project, House of Rejects, link in the doobly doo down below. And so the rest of my time has basically been spent. <laughs> yeah, that. So I've been busy. When I started this channel, I made it my goal to document my growth as an animator and an artist and basically a person from before art school to hopefully my job and beyond. And the response so far has been honestly really amazing. I've gotten a lot of comments and Instagram DMs at Balbert underscore art. It's just such an honor to know that there's a small group of people in this small little channel who find what I'm putting out there valuable and entertaining or even informational. I couldn't be more thankful. And with that, I made it my goal to tell you the honest truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat things or try to sell you something because it would be a disservice to both me and you if I lied to you. Plus, I, I wouldn't really feel good about it. So I'm not going to lie to you. This kind of sucks sometimes. All right, let me tell you a story. Last quarter, I took a class on environmental design, you know, concept art stuff. Most SCAD animation professors will break down their grading into these categories. A is professional level stuff, B is student level stuff, C is below average student level stuff, and D and F is, uh, why are you here? Most SCAD students want that coveted A, the grade that goes to the best of the best, the people who are ready for a job right now. The people that SCAD is probably going to brag all about when they graduate. But the thing is, not everyone's gonna get an A. In fact, most people don't. But I know what you're thinking. Why not just put in the work and put in the hours? That <laughs> I did, that was unintentional. <laughs> I'm gonna stay up until 3 a.m. and get my project absolutely perfect. I'm gonna pull out all the stops and grind the heck out of this class so that I can get that sweet, sexy A and be up there with the SCAD elite. Because I have to get a job. That's what SCAD says. There are no starving artists. I have to get a job. I'm not gonna be their first failure case, am I? So you work, you grind, you put in hours and hours of drawing and writing or whatever. You turn it in, all exhausted and running solely on dining hall food, and a week later, you get your grade back. A B. What did I do? I worked all day. I checked everything. I put my whole heart and soul into this. What did I do wrong? Sure, there's, there's nothing wrong with a B. I mean, it's student quality work, and I'm a student after all. But the best work that I can produce is just meh. And you try time and time again, assignment after assignment, putting your all into it, learning from what you did last time, but you're still not quite there yet. And you look at your other classmates who are working just as hard as you, or sometimes not even working as close to as hard as you are, and they're getting A's. What are they doing differently that you're not doing? Maybe that's not you. Maybe your hard work was rewarded with an A. If that's the case, more power to you. That's awesome. I'm not saying that you can never get one. I've gotten a few in my classes. They're not impossible. There's always a bigger fish. There's always a better artist. There's always something that you're not quite so good at compared to somebody else. No matter how good you are, no matter how talented you are, there's inevitably going to be that moment where you think just maybe your best isn't good enough. And that feeling sucks. Like, I can't lie to you, that sucks. Especially if you were the artistic kid in high school. But you're in college now. You're in art school now. We were all the art kids in our high schools, and now we're in the same place, working in the same industries, looking for the same jobs. Every SCAD animation professor is gonna tell you this. We're in the business of rejection and failure. There's no way around it. The fear of not being good enough and the pain of constantly being surrounded by bigger and better artists never goes away. I, well, as long as you're in the business. And you know what? That's okay. I was once told that there was a difference between regret and disappointment. Disappointment comes from not getting what you want even after you've done absolutely everything within your power to get it. It stings, but it goes away. Regret comes from not getting what you want because you didn't try hard enough. That stays a bit longer, if not forever. I did everything that I could with the abilities that I had to get those grades. I handed in student quality work, which is totally understandable because I am, in fact, a student. I'm not ready for an A. I'm not good enough for an A, but I will be. I have two more years here, 
hopefully. If I were ready for the industry right now, I would say screw you to SCAD and just save a few tens of thousands of dollars because I'm not here for a pat on the back. I'm here to get better. And I did get better. I, I really did. And honestly, that's what matters. That's what you should be proud of. I'm better and I'm so happy about that. One of my professors and probably one of my favorite people ever once told me that the only people who succeed in this industry, specifically entertainment, are the people who stuck around. People come and go all the time. The only way to get to where you want to go is to keep on the road to getting there. And that's what I'm doing. This stuff's hard, man. I have spent more time of my life drawing and writing and designing than probably ever in my entire life. And I can't say that I'm actually at the place I want to be at, but I'm totally fine with that because I will be there eventually. I'm not good enough yet, but I'm not giving up yet either. Neither should you. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.